So I've said this a dozen times. An open relationship may sound good on paper, but most of the time, it comes with a cost. Everybody, please welcome Curtis. Curtis is coming to us from Helena, Montana, the capital city of the great state of Montana. Curtis says he's here today because his open relationship with his girlfriend, Shy, should have stayed closed. You see, Shy and Curtis had an agreement. If you sleep with somebody else, you have to have protection. Sadly, Shy admits she broke that rule around the time she got pregnant, and now Curtis is unsure if he's the biological father of their three-month-old daughter, Lucille. This is Curtis's story. When my mother passed away, I was only 11 years old. I was devastated. It felt like my family was taken away from me. Since then, I dedicated my life to making her proud and starting my own family. I was over the moon when Cheyenne told me that she was pregnant with Lucille. The only issue, we have an open relationship. I thought we were having fun, but now I'm not sure if I'm Lucille's real father. I love Lucille, and I want her to be mine more than any. I want to make my mother proud. But if Lucille is not my real daughter, I'm leaving Shy and closing the door on this open relationship for good. OK. So, Curtis, this goes back. What was it like losing your mother at such a young age? It was heavily traumatizing. It was um, hard to process. Because you were raised by your father. And it also made yeah. you made you want to do something once you became an adult. It was to start a family. And so you could be there, and that your child would have a two-parent family. Yeah, absolutely. So now, I I've mentioned this before. You and Shy had what is called an open relationship. So then when she said to you, I'm pregnant, what was your reaction? I was anxious and excited, like I suppose any other father would be. What happened when you realized that you might not be her father? I was very excited to, you know, I still am excited to potentially be her father, but just the uncertainty of all of it is weighing on my shoulders. Whose idea was it to have an open relationship? You, hers, or both? I would say both. And why? I, on my end, it, I didn't want to hold her down and I didn't want to have any restrictions because I'm not that... Uh, Possessive? I'm not an oppressive person. Right. Yeah. Now, I always wondered about this when people are in these positions. You ever get jealous about other partners of hers? Occasionally, but I mean, with me and Shy, it's just we converse so easily that every time I get jealous or any time she gets jealous, it's just easily See, squashed. That I know of, you don't get jealous. Why haven't you told me that you get jealous? Well, I mean, why would we be in this situation? You're not wrong. So, in other words, you didn't tell her about being jealous? Not necessarily. Well, the thing I mean, is, I, I assume because you, you all mutually agree to an open relationship. If you start getting jealous, you kind of, you know, mess up that relationship, don't you? Was more her idea. Now you're on here lying. We agreed on this together. We agreed to be in an open relationship together, not I wanted the open relationship by myself. What was the reason why you wanted an open relationship? Because I've been so hurt in the past that I don't want to do it again. If we're wow. going to be in a relationship... I see. ...then... We're going to be in a happy, healthy, communicative relationship where we're both honest with each other. But we tried the honesty part, and I asked, I asked you not to use, I asked you to use protection with other people, and you didn't. You're very correct. Honestly, I should have used protection. So, but uh, we can't fix the past now. So you admit that. You you admit that. You know, I, I messed up, right, Shy? Yeah, I did mess up. The one time that I slept with someone without protection, we found out that I was pregnant. Does this other person, who, who we're not going to name, does he know about uh, this, this predicament? Yes, he's known since I found out I was pregnant. I told both of them from the beginning. Meanwhile, Curtis, you've been a father to Lucille, and, and I, mm -hmm. I heard you say you love this little girl. Absolutely. My whole heart. You would be devastated if you weren't the father, right? I'm bound to stick with her, even if I'm not. You biologically. Think, you think you look like Lucille? I, I feel like I do look like Lucille. I feel like it's in the, uh, in the, our hooded eyes and the chins. 
and our foreheads. Have you thought about the possibility, if I prove that Curtis is the father, what kind of relationship are the two of you going to have? Is it if gonna... he is the father, then um, we're... I'm not exactly sure if it's going to stay open or not. Um, I, I feel like we would probably still struggle if it's still open. So we might end up becoming monogamous if he is the father. But if he's not, I don't know how I'm going to feel. I love him so much and I need him to be the father. But if he's not, then I'm definitely going to be absolutely heartbreaking. When you first found out you were pregnant, was it like, oh, no, I slept with a guy without protection? Or you didn't think about that? My first thought was, oh, crap. Is the other guy the father, or is Curtis the father? And if the other guy's the father, what's going to happen to Curtis and I's relationship? Am I going to be okay afterwards? Is he going to be okay afterwards? Like all of those questions imagine running how through my I head, feel. just making me crazy. What do you mean? Imagine how you feel. I mean the whole contemplative. If I am the father, if I'm not the father, I've had to put up with it for more than ten months, almost a full year. If you have such a good relationship with Lucille. When you look at her and play with her, do you see the other guy? I've never even seen his face. I don't know what he looks like. Shy, who do you think Lucille looks like? From what I can tell, she looks like Curtis. I see him in her eyes and her chin and her mouth and her cute little chubby cheeks. You know, Curtis says if he's not the father, he's going to have to move a step away from you. Can you handle that? It'll be difficult, and I'll probably not be the happiest about the situation, but um, I know that that's probably the best option for both of us, if that were to be the outcome. Okay. Anything you want to say to Curtis before I do this? Could I actually intervene real quick? Yeah, go ahead, Curtis. I just wanted to say that when I look at Lucille, I see my mom, and it's hard for me to see her if, see her like my mother in her face, and I am so hopeful that Lucille is mine. I've been holding out hope for so long, and I don't know if I could take the heartbreak. <laughs> Obviously, you're here for, for the truth, and you're going to find out now, and you're going to have to deal with it one way or another, and we're all praying, of course, that it goes your way. Curtis, babe, I love you so much, and whether these results come back that you're the father or not, I want you to know that I love you so much, and I don't want you to be s upset with me at all or have any issues. And if you do, I am so sorry for putting you through this. I love you so much. Good. In the case of three-month-old Lucille, Curtis, you are the father. I've never been so relieved in my life. <laughs> Same. I'm so happy right now. <laughs> Same. <laughs> oh, jeez. Baby, I want to be with you. I'm going to make sure that we stay together. I am so sorry for putting you through this. I love you so much. <laughs> well, I think everybody can see how you feel. Thank, thank you so, thank so much, Corey. So oh, I, I appreciate it very much for being honest and, and wanting to know the truth. Thank you so much. I'm glad it worked. You are not the father. <laughs>